Will SpaceX usher the age of space exploration? Is humankind ready to explore the final frontier? Outer space, a vast and seemingly never-ending expanse beyond Earth. What is out there has eternally mystified and intrigued humankind. For centuries, what we know about space has been limited to observations done while looking at a telescope or mapping out stars and celestial bodies. Now, new advances in space technology have put humans traveling to other planets in the realm of actual possibility. This could really start happening, guys. Enter SpaceX, Elon Musk's space transportation service company with its promise of cheaper and more reliable access to space. Pretty cool, right? This is matter. And we wonder, will SpaceX finally usher the age of space exploration? Will we actually begin to start vacationing to outer space? And will there be outer space margarita bars? Because we really want to know. And I bet you do too. Funded in 2002, SpaceX has established a new model of space exploration by developing reusable rockets. In 2010, it became the first private company to launch and orbit a rocket to space. By 2018, SpaceX has over 100 launches under its belt, a tremendous feat for a private space transportation company. SpaceX's goal is simple. Make space travel accessible and make space tourism possible. And launch an outer space margarita bar. JK, we added that last one. Think about it. Space travel is expensive because the rockets can only be used once. If you want to travel again, you'll have to create a new rocket. It's like having to throw away your car after driving it to work. That's super expensive. With reusable rockets, the cost for space travel will be significantly reduced, and more people will be interested to try it for themselves. Because of this philosophy, SpaceX has been chosen by NASA to develop a lunar starship to transport crew and cargo to the surface of the moon. SpaceX promises to transport up to 100 people aboard its starship, with approximately 100 tons of payload. So far, official images of the design have no heat shields for atmospheric re-entry, nor do they have wings to control its descent for an Earth landing, unlike most rockets we've seen before. And there's a reason for that. The lunar starship is not meant to return to Earth. According to Elon Musk, this design decision was made because this is the most economical way of landing humans and cargo to the moon. The Starship, as he said, will serve as part of Moon Base Alpha. The Starship will be used for launches and descents from lunar orbit to the moon's surface. It can fly many times between the surface of the moon, and once it has served its purpose, it will be used as a habitat for the lucky people who get to stay on the moon in the future. Could you imagine being the first person to try out an outer space cocktail at the floating margarita bar? Okay, okay, last time I'll bring that up, I promise. <laughs> just recently, SpaceX SN9 Starship managed to complete not just one, but three static fire tests. Engines are fired up for a short period of time, while the rocket remains tethered to the ground. These tests were done in just one day. Why is that awesome? Because it further illustrates SpaceX readiness for space voyage. This means that we're inching closer and closer to bringing man back to the moon. But SpaceX is not stopping at the moon. With its starships in constant development, SpaceX is looking at making human exploration and settlement in Mars a reality. Freaking Mars! Could you imagine living there? Musk conceptualized the idea of the Mars Oasis in 2001. This project will send dehydrated seeds to Mars in the hopes that they will grow on the red planet. If life can indeed be supported on Mars, this would be the beginning of our civilization's journey toward becoming a multi-planetary species. Wouldn't that be epic? I mean, we'd have two floating outer space margarita bars, people! I couldn't help it. And if a human colony on Mars becomes a reality, SpaceX wants us to be able to travel to and from Earth 
as if we're just riding an airplane. Wouldn't that be the ultimate vacation experience? However, the day humans can go vacation to Mars is still a long ways away. But not if you consider visiting a different planet. Titan The second largest moon in our solar system is a much more realistic option for us to go vacation on. It already offers pretty much everything we need to survive and thrive as human beings. Well, except for the third floating deep space margarita bar. But before we talk about Titan any further, we'll save that conversation for another episode of Matter. What would you do if you were part of the first civilization to live on Mars or some other planet? And what do you think about our floating margarita bar idea for outer space? <laughs> You can thank Pierre and Meji, the real estate coach, for that idea. As we were working on writing this script, Pierre kept insisting we talk about floating margarita bars in outer space, like he couldn't get off that topic. Just imagine floating around drinking a margarita in outer space. Let us know in the comment section below if you could see yourself doing that. And hey, if you guys are interested in learning how to become a new real estate agent, check out Pierre and Meji's YouTube channel called Apartment Locating. Pierre's an awesome guy and really helps us out with our channel. So show some love and go subscribe to him. We're a small but passionate channel, so we'll actually read your comments and give you a shout out for your support. Make sure to smash the like button and click the little bell icon to get new video updates. Thanks for watching and see you again next Sunday.